Vamos a tirar la caña. Se cagó esto. temperatura del agua tiene que estar tibia. Sí, a Come here, come from here. It's just a demonstration. It's not intended to feed all of them.
Oh. You know, alligators can also lunge, or I should say jump. An alligator can actually lunge about three fourths of his body length. So if you take a nice big 12 foot gator like that one right there, you can easily jump nine feet clear out of the water. The last rat, where is it going? To your right. Water. Water. Yeah. I see points. Who are you pointing at? This guy is a big one. A big guy? Yeah. Oh, you guys want to get The alligators can't see directly in front of them, which is why, if you notice, I've been throwing the food, pointing the food to the sides of their heads. Yep. Come on, big guy. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. All right, guys, that's going to go ahead and conclude my feeding demonstration. Oh. Yeah. 250 on the entire farm, pretty close to 2,000. Everyone is standing again. Take a step back, please, so the people behind you that are sitting down can see. Hey, big guy. You know, surprisingly enough, these guys are actually pretty fast on land. At this size, they run between 7 and 12 miles an hour. In the water, though, it's definitely their prime territory. These guys can you see, these fences here are four feet. Oh. So what do you guys do if an alligator comes inside the boat with you? You just stand me. No, you just jump on the other side. You have to worry about those drivers. We set up way up high for you. Not fine. So the worry the jokes are just going to get worse. Sites, we minimize the amount of males going into the ponds. Because not only 6% of alligator attacks are fatal, why would an alligator attack a person? The alligators. <laughs> How about doing exactly what I'm doing right now, feeding the alligators? I think sooner or later this will probably get me attacked, don't you agree? Yeah, you could be honest, it's cool. You see, alligators have a natural fear of people. But once fed, they will lose that fear, and they will approach just about anyone. Think about it, you're out there camping, and that person that was camping there before you was feeding the wild alligators. Now these guys in this pond here don't know the difference between me or any of you. So the next thing you know, in the middle of the night, you have one of these guys at your tent door. You see, the problem is they don't know when to hand out the end of the actual hands and fingers to get. By the way, here in the state of Florida, it is illegal to feed the wild alligators. I don't know if any of you guys noticed that prison that you drove by on the way over here. Yeah? We should probably try to avoid that place on the way back. Don't feed any of the wild alligators. That's cheating. We had a guy over here that actually climbed up. Let me get a show of hands. Who here just been on the airboats? Airboats. Take a guess as to what I have more of, males or females? Females, you got it. For every one male alligator we put in this pond, we put in approximately five females. Now that's because male alligators can cover multiple females during the mating season. My name is Liz, if you haven't met me already, and I'll be doing your feeding demonstration for today. Now if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to shout them out. You know, I can tell you one of the most common questions I get, how is this little bucket of food going to feed all these gators, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, the answer, it's not. But if you guys kindly just want to form a single file line right in front of the gates, I can open them up. Have you had it? No, not funny either. So the real reason is because I Yes. <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh, oh. 